What's up guys and happy Halloween. So today we're going to transform a pair of white Jordans into some Jason Friday the 13th inspired ones. The first step is to prep our shoe using some Angelus Preparer and Deglazer. When prepping, make sure you spend a good amount of time reaching all areas of the shoe and spending some extra time on areas that need more attention. This step is important for the durability of your custom. Next, we're going to use some Angelus Too Soft mixed with flat black paint to black out the tongue. I'm using a 50-50 ratio of each to paint the soft material. Use a heat gun to heat set the product once you've completed all your coats, but be careful not to hold it too close as it could burn the material. Next, we're going to use flat black straight out of the bottle and paint all of the uppers except the top panel and the toe box. To get a good finish, we're going to apply about 5-6 to six coats with drying times in between. Now that we have our base coat on, it's time to start applying some stencils. I want to preserve the black color underneath, so I'm going to apply my stencil on top of the coats and paint around it. That way, when I take the stencil off, the black color will be underneath and the colors will be around it, which you guys will see later in the video. stencils down, now we can use some masking tape to tape off all areas we don't want to get paint on. I'm going to be doing some airbrushing, so it's super important to cover the areas that the gun could potentially mist on. To airbrush the mask white, I used a 50-50 ratio of too thin to flat white in order to avoid clogging of the gun. Spray a light mist with drying times in between to ensure no leaking through the vinyl. When removing the stencil, we can see that the black was preserved underneath and the white layer was perfectly applied around it. Next, we're going to apply five to six coats of our pale blue color on the top panel and toe box. I want to add the grunge effect, so I'm going to first tape off all areas I don't want affected and spray a light mist of flat black mixed with too thin on the outer edges of the panels. Holding the gun at a distance will make this a lot easier and will give you a lot more control. Now, time to paint the main panel. I'm going to take my time taping around this area since I'll be doing some heavy airbrushing. First thing I'm going to do is lay on three to four coats of white in order to allow my other colors to show more vibrant with a fewer amount of layers. I'm then going to create a gradient effect by spraying a lighter version of my pale blue and merging in the darker version. To do this, I'm going to spray a light mist where the two colors meet and gradually saturate the panel more as I work up. Before taking the stencil off, I'm going to create a moon behind the trees by painting a circle over the stencil and filling it in with about five to six coats of flat white. Once we remove the stencil, we can see that the black silhouette was preserved and the gradient and moon lay behind it. I'm going to finish off the panel by laying down a Friday the 13th stencil, laying down three to four coats of flat white, and then five to six coats of chili red on top of that. I'm also going to remove the vinyl on the toe box and fill the shapes in with five to six coats of chili red. To finish the shoe, I'm going to tape around all areas I don't want affected and create a splattered blood effect. This can be done simply by dipping your paintbrush in chili red and using your finger to flick the paint onto the shoe. The closer you are to the shoe, the easier the paint will flick onto the surface. And lastly, I'm going to seal the paint in by applying some Angelus Matte Finisher. Happy Friday the 13th. 